I'm a professor at Concordia University, Montreal, the director of Matra Lab, and I'm a composer. One of the recent projects was the Native Alien Project. Native Alien is a project where one musician and his or her imagination encounter eight independent software agents who act like a mirror. These computer improvisers, together with the musician, create a long and interesting comprovisation that challenges the way we think about music making today. The entire piece is based on a technique of composition that I call comprovisation, where the relationship between what is composed and what is free is always malleable and is very essential to what happens. So there's not something, let's say, not a passage where where only composition happened and another passage where only improvisation happened. But it may be that one layer, say one group of musicians, plays a composed thing in reaction to an improvisation or vice versa. And so many layers of improvisation and composition are superimposed in a structural way. So that's the way that Vineland Stelle and, and Inside a Native Land uh, were composed. And we took these ideas to Native Alien, where the computer is an improviser. But the computer also generates a score for the player. So the role that I had in the other projects where I wrote the composed parts for the musician is taken over by the computer who composes structural notes, a score, a readable score for the musician and thereby influences the improvisation that the, that the musician has started with. is based off of a nine-letter lipogram poem uh, written by Sandy Vigwadi. Each letter stands for a different emotional mood and carries with it its own behavior and sonic character. The structure of the piece is determined by a letter-by-letter -letter reading of the score, sequenced through the use of a foot pedal by the performer. When the performer decides to go on to the next letter, the score system selects the next letter of the poem, triggering a new mood and sonic character and also generating new notated elements for the performer to work with. The graphical score display for Native Alien was created using the Bach Library for computer-aided composition in Max MSP. <laughs> and the computer are mutually interdependent and create together. is a native in what they do. They play their own tradition, they play their own instruments, they're experts and natives. In 
human co-improvisations, there's always this feeling of togetherness, of, of mutual um, alliance, of, of, of trust. All of this are absent in this computer. So you must react to the computer in a way that you would not do with a human musician. And yet, the reactions are intelligible to you. It's not that the computer speaks a totally alien language, this, this, that the music that comes out is very different. In fact, the computer mirrors what you do. So you recognize yourself uh, in a very transformed and alien mirror. <laughs> takes a recording of a uh, solo musician and chops up the uh, performance into short musical fragments and uh, recombines them uh, to create new musical phrases. And what OMAX does is that it listens to the musician in an interactive manner and it, using their perceptual attributes of their improvisation, OMAX uh, builds a model. We devised four different kinds of modules that interact with the OMAX core. First one are pre-OMAX. If you consider OMAX like a musician, pre-OMAX tells the musician what kind of mood to have. Now you need to be skittish and nervous, now you have to be assertive and warlike, or now you have to be very emotional and weepy. Next step are para OMAX softwares. Earcamp software can produce a stream of recombined music, new music extracted from the musician. And we've made a lot of modules that shape these sounds into new atmospheres sometimes, sometimes clouds of sound, sometimes just different timbres, different nuances. So sometimes the system listens and quietly whispers back something in the distance. Sometimes there's like a string quartet reacting. And these are all different uh, behaviors of the system that, in live situations, interact with the musicians. And uh, I added a tiny bit of nuances, or like, for example, we said that it has to end because that's a hard decision for the software and a general problem for machine intelligence. So what does the uh, computer system do? It takes the soloists playing, analyzes it, and feeds it back to him in a way, but transforms it. There are eight different modes of transformation, named after um, the rasas of ancient Indian aesthetic theory that say the rasas is a kind of essence or, or flavor of something. And it's the basic nine emotions of humanity. That's the like, love, um, compassion, terror, fury, abhorrence, and so on. Um, and we label different states of the system with these um, rasas. So we have a loving system reaction, or we have a compassionate system reaction, or we have a terrorizing system reaction. <laughs> Um, are arranged in a sequence that's regulated by a score. The real-time score is made up of nine musical phrases. Eight of these phrases are generative, while at the center of the score display is a pre-composed phrase written by Sandy Baguati. Each of the nine moods in the piece have their own pre-composed material that is displayed when the letter comes up in the sequence of the poem. The eight surrounding phrases present a real-time transcription of OMAG's improvisers. Throughout the performance, the score system notates and stores musical phrases that OMAX has re-improvised, re-infusing past elements into the performance. The real-time score provides a sort of feedback loop as the sonic material first performed by the musician is recombined by OMAX and put into notation to be re-read by the performer. 
The notated phrases are guides or idea pathways for the improvising musicians to play off of. Each press of the foot switch randomizes the score display and selects a new pre-composed seed for the performer to work with. Omax is like a pasta machine that always churns out lasagna. You have to cut it off at some point or you have to shape it. And these are the post-Omax modules that tell Omax to stop, to wind down, to start up. And finally you have post-instrument modes that create sound effects on the Omax. They create new worlds of sounds, but they're closely linked and closely interrelated and musically connected to what the musician has improvised. We live in a world where less and less people actually are natives. They are born somewhere, then they leave the country or they leave their context and migrate in many ways, forcibly or um, voluntarily, into other contexts where they don't know the rules. They have to observe what happens. They have to find their own way to react to an alien situation. <laughs> A native alien may be even somebody who has lived in a place all his life. The world around him has changed so much that they feel alienated. And yet we have to live in this world, we have to interact in this world, and that's what this computer system, in a sense, um, does. It creates a kind of mediatized, changed world that takes a musician's own space, uh, its own um, characteristics, uh, the, the home turf of the musician, and transforms it into an alien field that has many, many references to what the musician knows, but still needs to be navigated in new ways. <laughs>